Here's your fourth stimulus check and daily news report, everybody. I hope all of you guys are having a great day so far. Now, 36 million Americans will soon receive $300 monthly payments. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says more action will be taken to pass a bipartisan infrastructure plan soon. So yes, everybody, there's much news to cover in today's video. So be sure to stay until the end to never miss out on the very important stimulus check information. Number one, we had an extensive discussion of uh, S1, HR1, which majority is indicated is going to be on the majority leader is indicated is going to be on the floor next week. Uh, we have taken a good hard look at how the American public would feel about this. But the discussions on them are progressing on two tracks. One track is bipartisan, and the second track pulls in other elements of Biden's American Jobs Plan and American Families Plan, which will be considered even if it doesn't have bipartisan support. Now, U.S. Democrats will not back down on President Joe Biden's sweeping infrastructure goals. Nancy Pelosi said on Sunday, signaling turbulence ahead of a scaled back bipartisan proposal unveiled in the Senate. President Biden has set his sights on a sweeping infrastructure bill that would both revamp the nation's roads and bridges, as well as boost spending on services, including health care and child care. The Republicans reject the idea that those latter priorities even qualify for the label infrastructure. A bipartisan group of 10 Senate moderates reached a deal for an infrastructure plan that will cost $974 billion over five years and includes $579 billion in new spending. And that was well below Joe Biden's current $1.7 trillion proposal. And it was unclear if it would garner enough support to pass the 50-50 Senate. Pelosi told CNN, If this bipartisan plan is something that can be agreed upon, I don't know how we can possibly sell it unless we know there is more to come. And Joe Biden has no intentions of abandoning the rest of his vision. Folks, Pelosi appeared to be hinting at a scenario in which Congress passes a bipartisan infrastructure bill and Democrats didn't follow up by pushing through a second spending measure using a process of reconciliation. And this process, everybody, will bypass the Senate rules, requiring 60 votes to advance most legislation. The Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has said that while Democrats are seeking a bipartisan infrastructure deal, they are simultaneously pursuing reconciliation. But this will require Democrats with their majorities to be united, and that could pose yet another challenge. With party members like Joe Manchin saying that he does not want to see the process overused. Now about 36 million families are receiving letters from the IRS informing Americans that they may be eligible for monthly child tax credit payments. In a statement, the IRS stated, the expanded and newly advanceable child tax credit was authorized by the American Rescue Plan Act. The letters are going to families who may be eligible based on information that they included in either their 2019 or 2020 federal income tax return, or who used the non-filers tool on the IRS.gov last year. According to the IRS, the American Rescue Plan raised the maximum child tax credit in 2021 to $3,600 for qualifying children under the age of 6 and to $3,000 per child for qualifying children between 6 and 17. Starting July 15th, payments of $250 or $300 installments will be made monthly, continuing, continuing until December, and will arrive via direct deposit or paper check. People can claim any remaining money as a credit on 2021 taxes, and now the, infra and now the nation's infrastructure is sorely in need of repair. It recently earned a C score from the American Society of Civil Engineers. And President Biden is now pitching his plan as an investment to benefit low-income Americans, rural Americans, and others that are burdened by decay or lagging modernization. Funding improvements to roads, bridges, and railways and other infrastructure has been a central piece of President, of President Biden's recovery plans. Joe Biden has said it will create really good-paying jobs and help, the nation complete, and help the nation compete better. Now the price tag to fix the country's bridge repair. Backlog is one is $125 billion, and while the Biden administration and congressional Democrats, Republicans, spar over the size and priorities of an infrastructure bill, those bridges, are, those bridges are rusting and corroding. Biden calls for $100 billion to build new schools and upgrade existing buildings, and he's even willing to work with Congress to reduce the cost of broadband internet and increase its adoption in both rural and urban areas. Thank you so much for watching everybody, 
I truly appreciate everyone's amazing support. Until next time, have a great day and stay safe. This is your fourth stimulus check update, and folks, I'm going to be bringing you up to date on the latest stimulus news and information. Now, some lawmakers want to restore the $300 federal weekly unemployment benefit, and other lawmakers are considering providing workers $300 a week if they return to their previous jobs. So yes, everybody, we have a lot of news to cover in regards to unemployment benefits, and of course, the fourth and possibly fifth stimulus check. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. But we got it. We have to get a lot done. So I made it clear to my caucus we're moving ahead in, on two very important issues: voting rights and Build Back Better. Before the end of the month, the Senate will vote on crucial voting rights legislation. Republican state legislatures across the country. Your leadership. Today, as we encourage everyone to get vaccinated all across our nation, students are going back to school in person. People of faith are back in pews and small businesses are back open. We have the opportunity to take stock of where we've been and where we're going. 50 million Americans dealing with food insecurity uh, and that was prior to the pandemic. And of course, the groundbreaking enhanced child tax credit uh, that will begin to take effect and hit the bank accounts of everyday Americans starting next month. We talked about the importance of the things that we have already done in our caucus meeting uh, with the counselor to the president, Steve Braschetti, uh, as well as Yonda Young. Uh, who is the acting director of the Office of Management and Budget. It was a very good conversation. We also talked about how we are going to move forward uh, with respect to the American Jobs Plan. The White House made it clear to us uh, that we should be prepared to proceed on two tracks. One, uh, to continue, of course, with the bipartisan negotiations that are underway to see if we can find common ground uh, with the Senate. President Biden made very clear when he was speaking to the American people prior to the November election that he was going to be the president for those who voted for him and those who voted against him. He was going to be the president for everyone. Uh, and in leading these negotiations uh, with the Senate Republicans, he is committed uh, to seeing that all the way through. But we do need partners. The American Jobs Plan is overwhelmingly popular with the American people. The American Families Plan is popular with the American people.